Hello YouTube, I am back with a five year update review. Usually we don't do updated reviews this long, but this was so disappointing to me the first time because I was using it the wrong way that I did not touch this product again for five years. It's been since, what, July of 2015 that y'all seen this product right here? Honey, it was in my closet for so long. I done moved and everything. Been at this residence since December of 2015. And we're now approaching December 2020. Never touched this product again. This is the first time that this has been turned on in five years. I didn't even think it would even admit it. It still does. I had to clean it because it still has some hair from the last time I used it. And I see what five years worth of hair on a product does, honey. It contracted dust even, even with it being in the packaging. And I'm noticing that the cleaning was very tedious. So I didn't like that. I don't like this compared to the paddle brush. The paddle brush is just easier to grab all the hair versus you really got to be going in between here. But the thing about this is it supposed to, you know, straighten your hair. But at the same time, it's soft to the touch. So it's on the hot setting right now. But you see I'm touching it with my bare hand. And you see the red light is on, so you know that I ain't bullskitting with y'all. So it's emitting heat, but the way it's designed, is designed so you don't burn yourself. Like, this is cool, this is cool. It's the inside that's extremely hot. But it's also designed like this so you don't accidentally burn your scalp, all this, that, and the third. Now, you supposed to take a small section of hair. And, of course, they have a white model. We're going to do it with my <laughs> tight fold blown out here. And that's another thing. You can't do it on cor uh, curly hair. Your hair already got to be blown out, which almost defeats the purpose. It's like, well, shoot, if my hair has already got to be blown out, why am I going to use this? Because if I want to straighten it anymore, I, I go straight to a flat iron, honey. But, yeah, my hair is blown out, free of tangles and all this, that, and the third. We're going to use this section, and they say you're supposed to continuously push it through. Oh, see, my hair is still too kinky for this. Oh, uh-oh. So, yeah, my hair is still too coarse for this, honey. Y'all see my hair is putting up some resistance. Now, mind you, my hair is blown out. But it's straightening. Y'all see what it's doing after it gets through. But then again, my hair is fine and thinning. So it really shouldn't take that much. See, what I was trying to do was rolling around and all that, hold on to it like it's a curling iron, but I found out you ain't supposed to do that. Also, another thing was this product was surprisingly sticky. I don't know why it was so sticky. Like, what in the world had my product? Like, it was sticky to the touch. I, I tried using regular, uh, my hospital grade wipes. It wasn't getting rid of it. Then I tried hand sanitizer. I ended up having to use my professional you know, cleaning easy wax remover that I use to remove wax off of my, um, you know, area and off of my clients as well to darn gonna get this darn on air, you know, this to be non sticky. So I don't know what was up with that. But that's that section right there. Then we're going to go on to this side. Like, I like the bigger ones that I've been seeing because you're able to cover a bigger area. And my thing is this. Since I got such fine, thin in hair, it'd be easy for me to just get a bigger one and get, out, get it on out the way versus these small sections, honey. And, of course, y'all know I'm over it with my hair, so I, I don't so much care about damage or anything at this point. It is what it is. I haven't used heat on my hair in over two years, so if it ended up breaking because of one time of heat shit, it, I don't need no hair then. But I don't like this darn going 
tugging at dry hair, increasing the chances of brightness. But it has to be on blown out hair. Like it can't be wet in any type of way. Like I don't like that. Like I can hear my hair snapping and all of that. Ugh. My hair just dry. Ugh. I guess, child. One more section. I ain't even going to do this on my on all my hair. I just want y'all to see how this is like. And since my hair is already elfed up, about to be cut off anyways, it's like we might as well go on and have at it. But see, I don't like this on dry hair because it's like it's just increasing the potential you know the propensity for damage because this brush it you can tell they really didn't have natural type 4 hair in mind then it feels like the tension and with my hair being dried out even though I very well moisturize it it's just asking for split ends and breakage. But yeah, th that's how it goes though. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. It has two settings. It has a high, uh, a high setting and a low setting. But that gives you a little idea of what it can do. And once again, I got predominantly type 4 hair type 4 thin fine hair with none in the middle so ugh. that's that y'all mm. so now we about to rectify this situation so y'all know what I'm about to do I'm about to go ahead and choose me a good old skincare product that I'm about to I'm in a hair care product and call it a day. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. Okay, I found the one that I want to use. Actually found two. I need something to take it out with. Okay, so we want to savage this with a little bit of Alakay Natural Lemon grass leave-in conditioner to bring some much needed moisture back to my hair. I just really wanted to see what my hair would look like blown out after all these years. And it's disappointing that I've lost some length. Because I haven't even cut my hair in months. So, and then when I cut it, it was more of a trim. So, yeah, I've lost quite a bit of hair. Oh, that feels so good up in my hair. <laughs> my hair was crying for that, honey. I almost want to do some more, but I don't want to quite oversaturate it. I want to still maintain some some of this length. So 
So I might avoid this product. Let me see. Yeah, water is the first ingredient. Oh. Let's do this crazy ceiling twist first, see how it fares. I think I might just stick with the lemongrass conditioner and then follow up with this in the days to come. Because I want to still preserve a little bit of lymph. And this, you know, blowout earlier did give me some lymph. So before my hair starts shrinking, because my hair does shrink up to 80% of its true length. That's how I do my little crazy silly. Hoppo, hoppo, you and me. Hoppo, hoppo. Hoppo, hoppo, you and me. Hoppo, hoppo. Once again, y'all, y'all know I can't braid nor twist to save my life. I know some of y'all gonna be like, Diva, you should have gone to the root, bitch. I don't know how to go to the root like that, honey. That's why my roots be puffy. <laughs> it, it would be a miracle if Diva Wan ends up finding the darn going a cosmetologist as a darn going base someday. <laughs> More likely not. I don't, I don't see myself dating anybody in my career field. Although it would be nice. <laughs> Would be nice. Or at least have a good friend that's a cosmetologist in the middle of something. Like, ah, damn. A bay would be better because, like, when I wake up, I don't have to deal with this. It's like, the, you put this on bay. <laughs> but, who I naturally gravitate to, it more, it more likely wouldn't happen to be a, a beautician. I more likely find me a. You know, a lawyer or somebody of that regard. And then they're going to just darn going to help flip the bill for me to go to a darn going to be teaching. But yeah, this is me doing my crazy silly twist. I don't even know how to do the three strand twist out, y'all. So I know it's a shame. I've been natural for eight years. I ain't learned none of the styles. Bang two knots don't look good on me because my hair is thin as hell. It's more ideal for the thicker hair chicks. I don't got enough hair nor density to pull off the the bang two knots. Braid the three strand twist out would look phenomenal on me if I knew how to braid to the root. I mean twist to the root. Hell, if I could braid and do braid out, son, it, might, it would be phenomenal as well. But. but this is what I do. And every now and again, I get fancy with it and twist in the opposite direction and have that multi-dimensional going on with some of the hair going up, some going down. It creates me a different little shape for me, but that, that's about all D1 can do, honey. Otherwise, I, I just do this. I don't even do no accurate part because it's like, yeah, my hair is so thin now. It only really need, And then it's like, I'm really doing this to... And I notice with my density, it's best if I do like three to six on each side versus trying to do many. Back in the day, I used to do many and it would give me definition. But I would lack the volume that I would prefer. And if I do just two huge ones... I get the volume, but I don't necessarily get the definition. So I noticed that my sweet spot is like three to six on each side would give me the combination of volume and um, definition that I want for my hair. Because once again, my hair is now on the low density, you know, and once again, my, my strands are fine. So it's very easy to see through my hair compared to in years past when y'all look at my older videos. My hair used to be, it looked, it looked almost looked like a wig back in the day. Now, not so much. But yeah, this is my <laughs> blowout. And this is my talk through of how I twist my hair up. Y'all tell me how y'all, what's y'all thoughts on this? 
Like I said, I know it's a hot mess, but we we gonna do something for with this hair. Don't want to go to the cream uh, creamy crack because it's like, honey, that's definitely gonna highlight this. So the creamy crack is out the question. And then you know the risk of scarring my scalp and all that. I'm not about to pay ten thousand dollars for a hair transplant. Only for me to damage the whole hill. It's like, oh girl, no. So we're going to at least keep it somewhat natural. I'm not opposed to a texturizer. But see, I don't want that texturizer where my shit's looking all rent, rent, rent. Like, uh uh, it, it, it has to loosen my curls, like, where all of it looks 3C like. I need to preserve some elasticity to my hair. A great deal. Um, I, I can't be like the girls who are trying to have the 2C hair look and it, it really looks a hot, funky mess. Y'all know the ones I'm talking about. The one that try to have that wet, wavy hair look and they hair be looking like, ugh. It, it, it just look like it's damaged. It's like, no. I, I, I just want so much of the curl taken out where it's a lot more manageable on me. I want maybe an aesthetically more desired loop the curl pattern to match what my hair gives in the middle all over because my hair does that naturally towards the middle of my hair and in this section towards the back but the rest of it is a very tight coily texture it's like when my hair is freshly uh, washed it gives uh, tight ringlet coils um, I put a couple pictures on my OnlyFans of, of what my hair looks like of uh, it you know when it has this naturalness it, it's like it's a combination of three different curl patterns and I think the closest that you can say is 3C 4A 4B uh, and then when it's all frizzed out it all looks like 4C like if it ain't nothing on it and it just dries or what not or if I mess around with it it looks like a 4C afro but in the shower or with some light styling products like even if I don't twist it if I just put some styling products and shillingle it through um, whether it's gel or butter it starts to form the curls so that's how I judge my hair type but speaking of type this is how I twist the hair up and this is how we're going to go good night so yeah, this is how Diva Wan does her crazy darn on Sealy twist. I'm looking like darn on Felicia from Friday on a budget because even Felicia had better lengthier hair than this. But anyways, we ain't gonna harp over it. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.